Okay, so here's a stack frame for our main method. That's the method that runs when we run our class. And in that simple main method, I've given it two int variables, count, which I set to zero, and sum, which I count set to 20. Our main method also had an input called args. So I've added that and shown it for now just as a null reference. Now our main method is gonna call another method method one. We'll draw that stack frame on top of our current main method. So I've written on the side that this is method one. Method one takes a variable as input called input. So I'm going to have a variable that can hold an int and it has the name input. When we called method one from inside of main, we passed it the argument sum. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a copy of this variable, which is 20, and we're going to put that in as input. The next line in method one changes input by adding five. So now input will be 25. It's important to notice that sum didn't change. Our stack frame for method one is separate and we can't access any of the variables in the main as long as we're in method one. We can only access the variables in here. Since input was passed as an argument, that's one of the local variables inside of method one. After we update the value of input, we also created another variable called z. We gave z the value 29. Now we will have executed all the code in method one and it will return to the line that called it from within main. And what happens is this stack frame then is no longer accessible. Here's the code. See if you can trace it just like we did in the video. 